Parkinson's disease is a progressive disorder that affects the nervous system and the parts of the body controlled by the nerves. Most cases happen for unknown reasons, but some are inherited. Wendy Taylor, geriatric nurse and clinical instructor specialist, is here to explain further. Well, Wendy, thank you for joining us today. Please explain what Parkinson's is and exactly how prevalent is it? Okay, well, thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Uh, Parkinson's disease, um, it can be relatively complicated to explain, so I'll do my best to sure. kind of uh, make it more understandable. In a yes. So basically, what Parkinson's is is it is a progressive neurological disease, um, which affects the nerves, and these nerves can no longer communicate with dopamine. So dopamine starts to tumble off, um, and dopamine is key for movements. Um, it's also key for autonomic responses, such as arm swing, eye blinking, um, very much, you know, causes tremor, dystonia, things like that. Would you say that the brain is almost deteriorating, Wendy? I won't say that the brain is deteriorating in itself, um, but dopamine is definitely depleting and not being used. So what symptoms usually signal to the patient that something is wrong and, and how specifically is this diet or this disease diagnosed? So typically I like to look at Parkinson's and the, what happens with them as an iceberg, okay? At the very tip top of that iceberg, you have everything that everybody sees. Sure. That's typically what will the caregivers or the wives or the husbands will say, hey honey, I see a tremor. I see that your arm's not swinging. I see that your posture stoops. So that's gonna be at the top. So Wendy, those are your first initial signals right there? Th typically, okay. yes. Okay. Um, underneath that iceberg though, you have the more non-motor issues. That's the sleeping problems, urinary issues, uh, depression, constipation. Okay, so let's go ahead and walk through the physical changes um, that, pa that patients experience during each of those stages. What do we usually see in stages one and two? So there's currently like two different ways that providers will look and stage people. I'm not a big fan of staging people because your Parkinson's folks, they are going to look different from day to day. Some days they might be in stage one, some days they might be in stage two. Stage one uh, typically is you see just one side affected, whether it be the tremor, the no arm swing, or stiffness and that rigidity. Stage two, you're seeing more of that on both sides. How fast do people progress from stage to stage, or is that something um, on a person by person basis? It kind of depends. Sometimes it can take a little bit longer, or sometimes it can take years. Exactly. Parkinson's is very patient specific. Um, we cannot tell you if you're going to just be one side for 20 years or one side and then two months later you've got uh, you're affected on both sides okay. there's no rhyme or reason that Parkinson's is extremely difficult because of that everybody looks different what about stage three and four Wendy I would say stage three that's when you're going to see more of the imbalance issues kick in that's more of the autonomic issues coming in so more balance issues um, if they hit physical therapy extremely hard, which I encourage, um, then we can keep them there. We can keep them in that stage three, maybe push them back to a stage two, fingers crossed. Okay, so you're saying that sometimes you can actually go back a stage if you catch it early in time or if you, if you start working with somebody? I feel like it, you can't stop the progression. You can slow Ever. it down. You can right. never stop it. There's no cure yet. Okay. Fingers crossed there will be in the, in the future. Um, but stage four, that's whenever they really do need those assistive devices, canes, walkers, sometimes even wheelchairs. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Wendy, for being here today and for talking to us about those. Uh, actually, I think we just missed the stage five. What is the sta stage five and is that the end stage? Uh, yes. So stage five is the end stage. Um, that is when folks that are affected with Parkinson's, they need help basically with everything. Um, they're in a wheelchair, they need someone to cut their food, help them So they're them like eat. bed bound at that point? They can be, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Wendy, for being here and for going through these five stages with us today and giving us a little bit more context and clarity about what Parkinson's disease is. Thank you.